Hey everyone, I have a, uh, my voice isn't working, but hopefully this works. I'm gonna teach you how to play, or I'm gonna make a tutorial on how to play Brilliant. I can't say it's gonna actually teach you anything, who knows, but uh, first I gotta get a, I gotta get a real guitar. totally screwed that up like totally I was totally out of time but that's that's what's expected um so the I had to, before we start this I have two things to mention one uh the tuning uh yeah I'll just say the tuning for so tuning is drop D so from the top, from up here, down. Um, second thing, uh, we have a Discord channel now. The uh, band, Light the Embers, has a Discord channel now. And it's going to be super fun. Nobody has joined yet except, okay, a few people. But no one has joined from watching any of these videos or anything, or any of the links. Uh, anyways, I'm still going to put a link in the bottom of this video if you want to join Feel free, the link will not expire. So as long as this video is up and as long as that link is there, you can join. It's gonna be super fun. There's gonna be lots of things like, you can you basically just talk to anyone in the band uh, if you, you know, keep the channels and whatnot in order and organized. Ask us questions. Uh, I know we haven't actually made any uh, much content yet, but just hang in there, we will. You can get a lot more Content, not content, but information and whatnot from this Discord channel. You should totally join. I think it's going to be super fun. Uh, anyways, let's get right into the song. So, uh, the first thing that I did with the, uh, the little intro I played there was I... Uh, don't worry about it. Don't ignore it. It's just because they don't actually play any guitar there. I was just kind of mimicking it with a soul effect as I'm making the chords. Or I was playing the chords. Um, anyways, I'm gonna use a different effect just to, just so it sounds it's easier to hear and whatnot. So um, once it actually starts a chord, it is in a uh, the key signature. No, not the key signature. The time signature for the song is uh, three four time. So. That is pretty much the chugging pattern throughout the whole song and even the strumming pattern. So once it starts out, it starts on this, uh, this is quite similar to a C, a C minor chord, but without the, uh, without this finger doing anything. So you've got the third fret of the, uh, because you only need to be th playing three strings. So you've got the third fret of the A string and the 5th fret of the D and G string. So usually when they put, when they play a chord in a song, or when they, you know, when they're holding a chord, they hold it for two measures, and they chug it in 8th notes, they play it in 8th notes, so 1 and 2 and 3 and 1 and 2 and 3 and, but with the intro here, they hold the same chord for 6 measures, before going on to the next chord, so... They hold it so one and two and three and two and two and three and three and four and three and three and five and three and three and six and three and three and that is a tongue twister. I hated everything about that. When they go down to this, uh, it's the same. It's the same chord shape, but different as well. It's, just, it's similar to this chord, 
but you're just going over. It's like an E minor, but same thing without the... Whatever that note is. Without the flatted third, that would make an A minor chord if you want to get into music theory. Um, so, it's the second fret on the G and D strings and then the open A string. And you do this one for two measures. And then you go and bar all three strings, or the top three strings, or bottom, or however you want to look at it. These ones up here. My finger is down on the, this side of the screen. Lowest strings. Bar that for two measures. Uh, or, yeah, play that for two measures. Then you um, go back to this chord. You play it, you could do it for one measure. And then you go and play it for the first note in the second measure. And then you bring it down here. And finish out the measure there. Um, and that is the same chord shape, just two frets down. Okay, yeah, two frets down. And then you go back, to, back up to here. And And then you do the first three chords, and you strum those. Or you chug those for two measures, one and two and three and seven. You want to keep that in your head throughout the whole song. One and two and three and one and two and three. And it is hard for things like the bridge and the uh, the solo and even near the end where it's uh, a bit different. So, anyways, so... goes back up to here, and then it stops for a minute, and then Brent's like, let me, and then the, uh, uh the chorus starts, effect I'm using to teach this is not great for that chorus part, so I forgot to play it with the actual effect that I like. It's not like that anyway, so it's those same chords, but it starts out with this A minor based chord over here. I think it's an actually it's actually an A suspended second or suspended fourth or something, but I don't want to get into all the theory or whatnot. Uh, anyway, so, you, you don't chug it anymore, you don't do that, so you're not gonna palm mute it, you're just gonna strum it for three, um, for two measures, one and two and three, and, here, I'm gonna mute my guitar, one and two and three and, one and two and three and, then you move down to the bar, th three over here, one and two and three and, one and two and three and, back up to this C, type chord over here, one and two and three and, one and two and three and, then you go down and you actually bar these saved strings as down here, just on the fifth fret. One and two and three and one and two and three and. Then you repeat. And that is the uh, that's the chorus part. Um, the uh, next verse because it kind of just goes right in there. This part is hard to hear. So if you want to, you could theoretically just keep strumming the same pattern as the uh, chorus throughout the second part, but there's another part in there that sounds kind of like this. Uh, I, I totally messed that up, but... So you go from the... you start on the, uh... The fifth fret of the G string. And hammer on to the seventh. And then you go to the 5th fret of the B string, and hammer on to the 8th. And then you go from the 5th of the B string, down to the 7th of the G string. And then you go back and hammer on to the 8th from the 5th on the B string. And then you do this, uh, again. Just that. And then you do the whole thing. I keep forgetting this. Uh, but I'm, forgive me, I'm not good at that part because I usually just play the other. The chorus 
part there. And then it goes right back into the course after it plays that a few times. And there's a few rests in there and it's super complicated and I couldn't teach you how to do it properly. Uh, and then it goes back into the course. And then, uh, yeah, so the abridged uh, part, just uh, give me a sec. So the abridged part, it looks like this. It's kind of, it's not hard to play, it's just awkward. Uh, it's weird. So, uh, it starts out, you go to the 12th fret, the G string. One and two and three and. Yeah, you go that one and two and three and out. So, essentially, you're playing it six times. You go to the 8th fret, you bar these strings on the 8th fret. Same as you were doing with these chords down here, of course. You bar them on the 8th fret and slide down to the 5th fret. You can do that three times. But it's so it's awkward to play, so it's oh, it's so weird. I don't like it. There's so much better. You, you gotta practice. It's something you gotta practice. Um, it does it like twice. Three times. And then it goes to the eleventh fret of the B string. Yeah, it goes to the 11th fret and then the 13th. It goes back and forth. It goes back to the 11th fret. Yeah, 13th fret and the B string. And then you kind of just like bend this 11th fret and the B string. I don't know for how many measures, but I know I, so you take the bend off at the beginning of, or you restart the bend at every measure. So you, one measure starts one and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three. And three. You like bend it up every single measure. And then uh, the solo starts. That is a mess, uh, but it's also very organized. So just give me a second. All right, for the, uh, the solo, it's gonna go. So this is shape. I know Breaking Benjamin uses it a lot. It's like a. It's similar to strumming these the C's down here, but instead of uh, actually, what you're gonna do instead is you're gonna mute this middle note, and you're only gonna play notes above and below it. So, for the solo, you're going to do that on the... You're going to go to the 17th fret of the G string. Let me kind of adjust my guitar so you can see. So you're going to go to the 17th fret of the G string. If you got this on an acoustic guitar and it's uncomfortable and you don't have a cutout, then just... Just do the 17th fret. Don't do this whole strumming. Don't play it as a chord. Just play it as an actual note. Let me keep adjusting to make this work better. <laughs> So if you are an electric and you can reach this, like I got a cutout down here, so I can reach this. You're also going to go to the 15th fret of the A string, then you're going to mute the D string in between. I messed that up a little bit, so you're gonna keep this pattern here the whole, throughout the whole solo, and, then, and you're gonna try, try and do the one and two, and try and keep the one and two and three and eight in your mind. One and two, but it is really hard because it's not really. It kind of just changes. So just listen to the song. This is what I'd recommend doing, and kind of mimicking off that. 
So you're going to the 17th and the 14th fret of the G and the A string. And you're going to have the B, this muted in between. And you're just going to strum that. So you're going to move the shape down one. Move it down to 16 and 14. And move that down for just a short little bit before you get it down to 14 and 12. So it's going to be 12 on the A string and 14 on the G string. Right, and then you can hold that for a bit. And you can go down to 12 and 10. I think, yeah, so. No, wait, no. Okay, you are gonna go down to 12 and 10, so I'm, I'm second guessing myself. So, 12 and 10. Then you're going to go down to 10 and 8. So, 10th on the 8th fret. I'll, I'll mention the, uh... So, free start, forget everything I just told you. I will, you're gonna keep the same shape where there's. Keep the same shape. So, you're gonna start out with seven, 17 on the G string and 15 on the A string. But from now on, I'm going to tell you, I'm just, I'm not gonna tell you both notes because you're just gonna keep the same shape. So, they should be an equal distance from each other. They should be a fret apart and, um, they should be, uh, of them uh, so I'll just tell you what notes on what fret you are on the eighth on the a string first so you're gonna start out with 15 on the a string move it down so you know what 14 on the a string then you're gonna move it down to 12 then you're gonna move it down to 10 So once you go to eight, you can go down to seven. And then you can go back up to eight, and then back up to ten, and then down to seven. So in all that half of the solo sounds like this. And then the rest of it's pretty much the same. But uh, I know here instead of going from 15 to 15 down, you go 15 up to 17. You can go up to 17, then up to 19. And that's all on the A string. So every note I'm mentioning is on the A string, and you just keep the same thing, there, the same shape. Um, so like this. Then you go back down. And instead of going, you just go from eight, but no, from ten. Same shapes and just go down the line. And so you're gonna go from ten to eight to seven to five. So in all the solo sounds like this. back in the course. Um, in the chorus, uh, actually, it, the guitar part's different, even though it does still keep the chorus going throughout the whole song, it is actually different. So it plays the chorus once, or maybe twice, 
Um, I think it only plays it once. But once he starts going, like, once it kind of gets, once the chorus gets, like, more explosive, as the world collides and I fight for air, I can't sing. Uh, he does the same chords for the most part. Uh, Zach does, because he's the guitarist. Um, Discord messaged me. Um, anyway, so he does it three times instead of one and two and three. He does it as whole notes instead of one, two, three. And does that with this A minor chord. One, two, three. And then he goes down to this. And bar on the three. One, two, three. But instead of moving it up to here, it stays here and goes one, two, three. Wait, no. One, two, three. And then, um, then it goes up to, uh, back up to this chord for two measures. Then it goes to this weird chord, which is not a normal chord that I know. Which is, so uh, this chord is like, and it starts chugging this back in eighth notes again. Does that for two measures. And so the chords are, the, the notes are, so you go to the fifth fret of the D string, seventh fret of the G string, and the eighth fret of the uh, B string. Um, yeah, and then the chorus repeats again one more time. Instead of going from the uh right now, yep, the chorus just repeat. Never mind. I forget what I just said there. And then it goes back to as he's going like count it count it down from ten to one, guys on the firefly, and then you know what everything's just kinda in full circle and being the best ending to a song you could possibly have. Uh he starts doing whole notes on the on this chord up here. One, two, Measures and he moves it up a couple of frets. That's that for another four measures. Then he moves it down to here. And that's two measures and then he moves up here. Right, and then he goes back down to here. Two measures and back up to here. And then, uh, the chorus, it's not really a repetitive chorus, it's kind of back into it. It's kind of like strum on this same chord right here. The C related chord. So you strum on it for three measures. One, two, three, one, two, three. down a couple of frets here again um so you go once you do that um actually it does carry over kind of like in the beginning so one, two, three, one, two, um and it goes back to this another two measures one, two, So yeah, that that is the whole song. That is brilliant by Shine Down. Great song. Shh. Great song. You should totally listen to it, especially while playing it. Just give me a second here. All right, brilliant Shine Down. It is a great song. You should totally listen to it. I love the guitar part. Evidently, that's why I learned it. That's why I'm teaching it. Uh, join our Discord page. You should totally do it. It's gonna be fun. Uh, also, I got recommendations for uh, to do a tutorial for Three Days Grace, never too late. I will do that once I figure it out myself. Uh, I can show you that I am making progress. I'll play a bit here. I've actually known that riff for quite some time, but the chorus is where it gets me off. So anyways, 
I will do a tutorial for that song at some point. Join our Discord. Bye-bye.